right, this is first grade, module two, lesson six. And in this lesson, we're really going to formalize that concept of the commutative property in, uh, that we've been kind of referring to in the previous videos, um, kind of informally, just kind of as, as this in context, as the reason come, pops up. Uh, but this time, we're going to be really specifically talking about that commutative property. We want students to know that uh, nine plus six is going to give us the same answer as 6 plus 9. That's the commutative property. And that's important because even, even knowing that 6 plus 9 and 9 plus 6 are the same, give us the same answer, uh, when we decompose that 6 in order to make the 10, we want students to recognize that um, decomposing that 6 into 1 plus 5 is still going to give us the same answer as if we decompose the 6 into 5 plus one. And that's the whole point of that commutative property. We're just making it more formal and official in this lesson. All right, we're going to be, first we're going to be pairing up these uh, number sentences uh, based on that com uh, commutative property. And then we're going to, uh, by drawing lines, and then over here we're going to write the um, related 10 plus fact in order to get the answer. So the idea is here's 9 plus 6, here's 6 plus 9, and that's they're connected by the commutative property. And we want students to start being a little bit more efficient in saying, in immediately recognizing that 9 plus 6 or 6 plus 9 is going to give us the same answer as 10 plus 5. That's our re related 10 plus fact. And get the answer of 15. So for example, uh, We've got 3 and 9, 3 plus 9. Well, that's going to go with 9 plus 3. And then we want students to see that to be 10 plus 2, which is 12. All right. Uh, let's do 9 plus 5 right here. 9 plus 5 is connected by the commutative property to 5 plus 9. We want students to immediately see, oh, that that is 10 plus 4, which is 14. This is how we are kind of... Um, getting there to that that el that fluency we're trying to make it efficient and develop fluency here uh, teachers try and resist the concept of speed though I know I'm going fast but try and just help students appreciate the efficiency and the fluency without uh, I don't know, slipping into a concept of speed so 7 plus 9 gives us 10 plus 6 and that's 16 and I'll just move on from there so parents and teachers, on this one, it says to complete the addition sentences to make them true. And you've got a whole bunch of questions here. Parents, teachers in particular, teachers, um, consider not doing so many questions because that makes the, the priority on getting the answer, all right? Consider assigning half the questions. I don't know, I'll just arbitrarily cut those off. And then allow the students the opportunity to talk and have a discussion about why they chose one method versus another. For example, oh, let's do 9 plus 4. So when a student says, oh, 9 plus 4 is 13, what's more valuable than the answer is asking the student, well, how did you get that? Because we want to listen. Did the kids start at four and then count on an additional nine to get 13, in which case that's not a particularly efficient method. Or did the kids start with nine and count on four? Well, that's a little bit more efficient. Or did the kid do what we want them to do, which is to say, well, four plus nine is the same thing as 10 plus three, which gives us 13, which is the most efficient, all right? So parents and teachers, consider assigning half the problems you would have and spend more time discussing the strategy for each problem. And then this is just kind of more of the same, the, the idea of saying, well, if we have 10 plus 3, which one of these expressions is the same as, gives us the same value as 10 plus 3? And we want students to recognize, oh, 9 plus 4, 9 plus 4 
gives us the same value as 10 plus 3. We want students to kind of become a little bit more efficient at, at recognizing equivalent statements. So 10 plus 6. So which one of these is 10 plus 6? And we want students to see, oh, 9 plus 7 or 7 plus 9 gives us 10 plus 6. And that wraps up first grade module two lesson six where we're you know formalizing the concept of the commutative property so that students immediately see that nine plus seven seven plus nine are the same and that you can take that seven and decompose it to be one and six or six and one and in both cases you're going to get the exact same answer